I'll have a scotch. Any news on Joy? She's still unconscious. So she hasn't said who did it yet, then? No. But I'm sure she will when she comes round. If she comes round. Well, well. Isn't this cosy? <laughs> Can I have a look, then? Mm. Oh, my love forever, Terry. Trish, he has been very good to me since my accident. Mm. And what's his ulterior motive? That's what I'd like to know. Look, who else have I got? I'm going home tomorrow. You're off God knows where. I'm only going for two weeks. That's no reason to sell your soul to the devil, dear. Whatever you say, Trish, he is not a devil. He has been very caring and very thoughtful. All right, all right. I won't say another word yet. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm looking for Marco Standi. Oh, yeah. You and uh, everyone else. What? He'll be back. Excuse me, girls. Let me guess. Champagne, hmm? You seem a pretty girl to be one of Marcus's hangers-on. I'm not a hanger-on. Oh, wonderful. You've got spirit. I like that. Will Marcus be back soon? He won't want to keep you waiting, Miss... Uh... Moreno. Well, Miss Moreno, pleased to meet you. Morris. Alex Morris. Mm. Sit down. So you're a close friend of uh, Marcus, yeah? Very close. Oh, really? What do you think of him? What do you ask? Because I don't know very much about Marcus and his past life. Hmm. Less said the better. Don't you agree? Are you really his friend? Oh, I think so. Let's put it this way. When he got married, Marcus asked me to be his best man. And I'd call that being his good friend, wouldn't you? Ah! Why are the lights off? I've got a brandy over there. Could you pass it to me, please? Yeah. Thank you. It's all coming back to her. Mm. She started walking towards the door and she began to remember, didn't you, Joy? Oh, it's close. You mean you know who did it? OK, calm down. She's had a shock, right? I felt terrified. No, that's enough. <sighs> it's OK. I mean, there's no point pushing it, is there? Oh, it's all right for you. You can take care of yourself, can't you? Yeah, I can also take care of Joy, which is what I'm trying to do. I think I hate this place. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have left you here, should I? Why don't you just take her home, yeah? OK? Mm. I'm supposed to be on your team, right? Pop up. Not yet. Well, why not? <laughs> not by a long chunk. It's OK, he's gone. I'm sorry to be so much trouble, but I had to catch you before you go to work and I didn't want to go into the house. Whatever is the matter? I haven't slept at all last night. I haven't said anything to anyone. Marcus just thinks I'm being moody. What about? Ingrid. I found out something from this awful Englishman. Marcus is married. He's married. said anything about you having to hit the road? Ignore it. Sure? Positive. I'll get it. Hi. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Trisha. I knew it's late. Um, I just wondered if, if you could put me up for the night. What? You're not picky times, love. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I, I just fancied a bit of company, that's all. Company? What's up to Terry? Trish, come back inside. Look, forget it, Trish, OK? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just being silly, that's all. I'll see you in the morning, OK? Joy, what's wrong? Nothing. Like I said, I'm just being silly. Are you all right? Love? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. It's that loving next to your roller coaster. Us? One minute they're up, the next minute they're down. What are you talking about? Well, the odd couple over there. Terry and Joy? Yeah, nicest pie last night, daggers drawn this morning. I'll tell you, if she wants to stay here another night, I'm going to start charging her rent. Joy! Joy! Gwen! Joy! 
boy. This is ridiculous. I know you're in there. What's going on? Ashley Trish, that's what I'm trying to find out myself. Terry! But I can't find out, can I? Because she won't answer the door to me. She's gone crazy, hasn't she? Look, why don't you let us talk to her? Just me and Gwen, right? We'll, we'll, we'll try and calm her down. Right, and then we'll take it from there, OK? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Just don't expect to get much sense out of her, that's all. All right? Joy, Joy, it's me. Joy! Go be a please. I keep on seeing him all the time. I can't. Every time I close my eyes. I don't understand who. He's just standing there looking down at me. What, what are you talking about, darling? What is it? It, it, it was Terry. What was Terry? The man who attacked me. It, it was Terry. What's all this? What does it look like? What's going on? I have to go home. I tried to explain you this morning, but you wouldn't listen to me. Well, I was busy. What's the problem? Somebody sick? Come on, tell me. Oh, is this why you stormed out on me this morning? What's the problem? Look, Pilar, if you've got a problem, tell me, because I'll sort it out. I've told you before, anything you want, you just ask, you'll get it. What about Alex? What about him? You don't like him, do you? Come on, spit it out. It's my father's birthday. <laughs> it's your dad's birthday? <laughs> is that all? <laughs> you still haven't told me what sort of fantasy she's supposed to be having. I can tell you. What? And it's not a fantasy, is it, Terry? What do you mean? It's 100% fact, isn't it? What are you talking I about? I always knew you were a bit unbalanced, but I never knew you were that evil. Hey, now, hang on a minute. Oh, what do you call it? You attack your girlfriend, you leave her for dead. Is that what she's been telling you? She's remembered. What? What happened that night. Now, look, just listen to me. <laughs> Every little detail. I don't believe this. Joy, what the hell is going on? I don't believe this. Really? Well, it took a lot for me to believe it myself. But it's true, isn't it? Look, we've got to talk about this. You don't seriously believe it was me, do you? I saw you, Do You think you saw me? I saw you. Look, we've got to go inside and we've got to talk about this on our own, OK? We stay with joy. This is ridiculous! You're not very nice to know, are you, Terry? That depends who you talk to, doesn't it? Well, I've been asking around, but I haven't met anybody who's got a good word to say about you. Not one. Well, popularity's always been an overrated virtue. You think so? Looks like you should know. Don't get funny with me, son. Like I said, I haven't got much of a sense of humour. Well, you should try and develop one then, shouldn't you? I'm off. Now that, if you don't mind my saying so, was very silly. <laughs> Look, what's all this about? I told you in the car, Joy Slater. <sighs> what's she to you? She's a very good friend of a very dear friend of mine. And I don't like to see her hurt. Let him up. I'll be straight with you, Terry. There's one thing that gets under my skin. It's violence against women. Violence against men on the other hand. Are you threatening me? I want you out of this country tomorrow at the latest. Well, how am I going to get out when I haven't even got the money for an air ticket? I'm sure a man of your undoubted resources can make suitable arrangements. Or uh, you could always lend me some cash. Don't you remember 
No sense of humour. I want you on a plane. How you get on it is your problem. In the meantime, Lenny will keep an eye on you to see that you don't come to any harm. You want to take care, Terry. There's a lot of nasty people out there. Hmm? Social visit. I haven't seen you for a few days. Thought I'd pop in and see how you are. Oh, I'm never better, me. Walking on water. How'd you get up here anyway? You left the street door open. Not like you. Yeah, well, I've I've had a lot on my mind just lately. Anything I should know about? It's personal. Good. As long as it stays that way. What? As long as it doesn't interfere with our business. It won't. I'm delighted to hear it. As you can see here, a base camp has been set up here, which will be defended by the blue team. The aim of the red team will be to take the base camp by force after being dropped off here at the starting point. Okay? Everything okay? Yeah, there's nothing I enjoy more than a spot of babysitting. Just a bit of PR. Used to be good at that. Is that right? Come to think of it, used to be good at a lot of things. Marcus, you're late. Yeah, well, I've got a bit held up. Uh, never mind. Take your places quickly. You can get changed later. Huh? Uh, your team leader will fill you in on what you've missed. Who's that? Drew. How's it going? This is fun. It's only direct we've hit so far. Well, that makes three for me. How many you got? Well, I haven't actually had a direct hit yet. Your mate's good. I saw him hit someone. What mate? Well, the ones you brought earlier. Who are they anyway? No, is he? They're just business associates. Well, is that why that bloke wanted to do the other day? To arrange it? What bloke? You know, that friend of Trisha's. He was here earlier. Wanted me to let him know if I saw you. And you did? Yeah. Why? Is that a problem? I'm dead. I'm dead! Oh, no. Isabel! I told you it was better in the tent. Mm -hmm. Is that allowed, thinking out on people? Well, of course it's allowed. You're dead too. You mean I'm dead as well? Yes. Oh, thanks God. My foot are killing me. Must be nearly over now, nearly everybody's in. Don't you believe I have left my team with a master plan. Just wait. Come on then, Stormy Norman. I'll buy you a cup of coffee. Get on. been a while. I think we should go and look for them. It's very quiet. <laughs> 